Welcome back to the GPHI uh, podcast. I'm Simon Matthews. I'm one of the directors of the GPHI and also the, uh, the secretary uh, of the Global Positive Health Institute. Uh, it's my um, absolute delight today <laughs> to uh, to be with my colleague and friend. Actually, I'm going to reverse that friend and colleague, um, Dr. Rani Polek. Um, Rani and I first met, um, we, we were just having a conversation actually about when we first met and, and uh, with you know the odd pandemic here and there, we're now not sure whether we met uh, in person or or virtually first. But it was uh, it was some years ago. It was a lifestyle medicine and uh, and health coaching context that we uh, that we met in. And um, uh, well, I'm 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 going to say it, Rani. Um, being being two bald guys who are both quite tall, we hit it off straight away. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm 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 just thinking that uh, you know one one of the way to bring joy to your life is just to work with people that you like, and 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 it's just it's just great. <laughs> That's very kind. It's lovely. Thank you. So, um, for those of you who um, who don't know Rani, uh, Rani is the uh, director of lifestyle medicine at Sheba Medical Center in Tel Aviv, Israel. Um, also, the director of the Chef Coaching Program at Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital. And in addition, uh, and uh, uh, Rani, just uh, help me here, adjunct professor, uh, associate professor. Assist assistant. Assistant professor at, uh, at, Harvard, ha at, at Harvard, Medical, uh, Harvard Medical School. Um, uh, Rani, uh, like me, is, is uh, coach trained as well. Um, and that's a, uh, that's a shared uh, interest that we, uh, that we both have. Um, so we're going to have a uh, we're going to have a lovely conversation together for the next uh, for the next uh, twenty or so minutes. Um, Rani, I wonder um, I wonder if we could start with you sharing a little bit about how you found yourself in the midst, firstly of lifestyle medicine, and then positive psychology. Can 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 you ask again? There was some some something wrong with the with the connection. Oh yeah, sure. Um, um, Rani, I, I wonder whether we could start first with you sharing uh, about how you found yourself in the midst of lifestyle medicine, and then, uh, um, sorry, I'm going to do that again. Um, Rani, I wonder whether you could share with us first a little about how you found yourself uh, in the midst, firstly of lifestyle medicine, and then positive psychology. So, so I think I think my first step. Um, in the lifestyle medicine field was um, was through the food. Um, um, I, I like I like to eat. <laughs> um, I like to cook. I think I think this is also a shared interest of us following for uh, following your social media. Um, and I was while while I I'm, uh, through my medical education, I felt that there is not enough focused on food. And that they're not enough focused on what patients really like to do and what brings joy to uh, to patients. And mm -hmm. and I felt that um, culinary training could benefit my um, my journey. Mm -hmm. And um, I I, um, I went to a culinary training in in Australia. This mm -hmm. is another another. <laughs> another uh, <laughs> Uh, I was I, I was helping to um, I was help, helping people to eat healthier, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, maybe maybe a decade later um, mm. I I was introduced to to health coaching and to and to positive psychology, and I understood how how the training could be even improved if you incorporate uh, aspects from health coaching and positive psychology. Mm -hmm. um to the training and and now my my main work is is um helping patients to eat healthier using these skills uh-huh wonderful wonderful so we could we could uh with your with your chef training we could equally find you in a uh, michelin hat restaurant somewhere in the world i think so and and, and you know <laughs> i think i think that i think that um unfortunately when we usually when we think about health we tend to compromise the joy you know you i mean you mm -hmm. you need to be healthy so you need to do you need to do whatever is needed 
to mm -hmm. be healthy. I mean, you need to eat even stuff that you don't like. Um, you need to do exercise, even if you like it or not, you know, just, just be healthy. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I think that keeping in mind that we are here in this planet also to have fun <laughs> and, to, and, to, and to enjoy our life, uh, it could be incorporated in a very good way uh, mm -hmm. in our interventions. Yeah, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. T t tell, tell me a little about, um, I I'd love to understand a little bit more about, uh, uh, about how chef coaching in particular grew out of that and, and perhaps some of the things that you've observed in uh, participants in chef coaching. So the, the, the chef coaching began, I think, back in, in 2013. Uh, I, I came to Harvard to complete a, a lifestyle medicine fellowship. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to be honest, health coaching was, was on the curriculum. Uh, uh, sorry, health coaching was, was on the curriculum. And, you know, one of our, one of my requirements was to complete a, a, a health coaching uh, training. Mm -hmm. and, and then during, during the training, um, I, I realized that, that, that this is a, 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 a very, very effective tool. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, I know this is not the main focus of, of health coaching, but my training was, uh, was a remote training. And I was, I was, first, I was first introduced the, to, the, to the power of telemedicine as well. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. and, I, I, and, and it was, you know, we, we log in with, I think with, I logged in with my cell phone. It was like a, li like a, 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 line, a line training. Uh, but even though it was, you know, it was very effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, I just came to Boston to, to, do, my, to, my, uh, to do my fellowship. I, I left Tel Aviv and, and in Israel, I had a, like a fancy teaching kitchen. And I came to Boston with, with, with a space in the office. <laughs> and, and I said, okay, how can I train people to cook healthier and, uh, from, from, from my desk? <laughs> and um, you know, all all these came together um, through the health coaching training. I mean, I realized mm -hmm. that health coaching is is might be key in in adopting new behaviors, and I mm -hmm. realized that telemedicine could be a, a, an impactful a impactful tool, mm -hmm. even even in a field such as cooking, which. It's kind of odd. I mean, you need to you, you need to taste the food. You need to smell mm -hmm. the food. So how can you how can you teach cooking through through the Zoom? Mm -hmm. uh, um, so the answer is yes, you can, and and it's it it can be very effective. So I, I all this wrapped together um, to a training, and um, and we developed the, uh, the 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 culinary coaching model, which is a model that uh, help people to adopt home cooking. With health coaching principles and culinary training, mm -hmm. and since then I'm I'm evaluating the uh, the impact of the mm -hmm. of the training on patients, and mm -hmm. also we have a medical education training that train professionals to to use the health coaching principles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what are some of the some of the positive psychology benefits in particular that you observe in participants in uh, <clears throat> coaching training? So, you know, let's start from the evidence, okay? I, I, I personally observed lots of stuff, but if we think evidence-based medicine, mm -hmm. so um, in 2021, two years ago, we, we published um, a, a paper that uh, evaluates the um, resiliency of the, of, of the people who joined mm -hmm. the um, chef coaching program during the uh, COVID pandemic. And, and, and we found that uh, participants in the intervention group um, cope better with the um, stress of the, uh, of the pandemic mm -hmm. and also were more resilient than the participants in the control. So, uh -huh. um, so this, is, this is one, one um, evidence that we found. Uh-huh, uh-huh, wonderful, wonderful. What, what other things, what other positive psychology benefits do you suspect might be present for participants, even if they haven't been... Uh fully researched and examined? 
so so um you know the science show i, I mean we didn't evaluate this on the on the on our uh, on specifically on our program but but science mm-hmm. show that um home cooking uh improve uh, emotional well-being mm-hmm. that home cooking uh reduce stress mm-hmm. um that that home cooking um improve the relationship within the family mm-hmm. um there's lots of lots of benef- lots of emotional benefits from mm-hmm. uh, from home cooking mm-hmm. specifically mm-hmm. if you um, if, if you cook with your kids uh-huh uh-huh yeah yeah we're going to talk about uh, talk, talk <laughs> more about that uh, shortly <laughs> I, I, I know from my own experience Rani that uh, and and as you know I love I love cooking um, but uh, but that that time spent um, you know um, Uh, preparing food, looking at food, smelling food, a uh, little bit of tasting food uh, as you cook. Um, but, the, but, but the context of just uh, taking time in the day to do that, uh, my wife and I often, we, we just stand and talk, uh, you know, while, while a meal is being prepared. Um, all these extraordinary um, benefits accrue uh, from one very, very straightforward process Uh, action of preparing a meal and 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 you know Simon it's it's really um, a self-care practice I mean it's really mm-hmm. taking like spending time cooking uh, for you and and for the people that you love um, it's 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 totally self-care mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and and nothing brings more joy to individual than taking care of themselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah absolutely yeah Now we um, Rani, we both uh, we both have two children. Uh, my boys are significantly older than, uh, than your children. Um, my, my boys are now 28 and 25. Uh, yours are four and two. What, one, of, one of the great um, one of the great satisfactions in my life was uh, having taught my own children to, um, to to recognize good food, to be able to select good food, to prepare it, uh, to cook it um, and to you know they they both um, enjoy cooking uh, and enjoy preparing their own food now which which brings me enormous satisfaction as a father um sh- share with me uh, share with me what you're doing uh, in this way with your own children <laughs> so um so la- last month uh, I think it was around 5 30 a.m uh, <laughs> My, uh, my oldest kid, who is like, he's less than four, he's like three and a half, uh, mm-hmm. wake me up um, saying, Dad, uh, there is light in the window, you should wake up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so, you know, I, I opened my eyes and then, and then he told me, Dad, I, I, I have an idea about something I want to cook. Oh. Uh, and he... <laughs> And, and, and he, he took me to the kitchen and said, uh-huh. well, I, I want to I wanna make some kind of a muffin. And, and he, like, he has all kind of, of his own idea about uh-huh. the, the, the mixture he would like to, uh, uh-huh. he would like to make. Uh-huh. And one hour later, we had, uh, we had the breakfast and we, and we, uh, we, we shared it with, with all the family. Wonderful. What a <laughs> wonderful, wonderful experience. So at the age of uh, three and a half he's already a uh, already a creative uh, yeah, yeah it's 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 unbelievable yeah. it's yeah. unbelievable yeah yeah wonderful wonderful and and so uh, so t- t- tell me you know I if, think if I, 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 if I had if I had been there if I had been there observing this t- tell me about what I would have experienced being with your family sharing this breakfast prepared by your three and a half year old what what, what actually went on in that room so yeah So I think I think he was I mean he was extremely satisfied from from the fact that you know his idea with a little bit of my help of course uh, uh-huh. be, uh, be, uh, become something real uh, you know we take pictures of the food and and uh, we, uh, we we loved the um, the results and also you know one thing that came to me now when I'm thinking about about my family and and the How to generalize this you know <laughs> to, to other families I, I think that what I really found interesting with my kids is that they are willing to to try almost almost any food that is being served you know they they don't like everything they're kids you know they they don't like 
too complicated food. They, they mm -hmm. are lots of stuff they don't like. Mm -hmm. but, but if there is something new on the table, uh, they're the first one who, uh, that will try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I think that's, that's a, um, a, a, a place where, uh, where um, lots of family found challenging to introduce new foods and to introduce vegetables and to introduce healthy foods mm -hmm. to, uh, to their kids. Mm -hmm. I think that mm -hmm. if your kids is involved in the preparation of the food and, and you know, and, and are interested in, you know, in what's going on in the room, in the family, about mm -hmm. what's going on in the fridge, um, they're more likely to, you know, to try the food and, and, mm -hmm. and, and make, maybe they will, they will like mm -hmm. at least a portion of it. Mm -hmm. you're, really, you're really identifying the, the, uh, the concept of curiosity. Uh, the idea of, of curiosity, which we we know is a very powerful uh, a, be a very powerful strength that uh, that underpins uh, uh, a lot of positive psychology. Um, being curious about the world around you, wonderful, wonderful. Um, Rani, um, I wonder whether we could talk a little bit about um, about about your work in Tel Aviv and, and about mm -hmm. your work in the Lifestyle Medicine Centre, and and how you then bring um, your lifestyle medicine and your positive psychology um, knowledge to the patients that you're working with in Israel? So I think that I think that working within the hospital um, is a child like bringing lifestyle medicine to the hospital is is challenging. It was challenging for me at least. Mm -hmm. um, mostly mostly be, be, uh, from various Political um, aspects, um, and and one is that lifestyle medicine, health coaching, positive psychology um, is not funded by. Um, so in Israel, uh, we have health insurance. It's mm -hmm. like it's very similar to. Uh, sorry, we have like a, 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 a governmental health insurance, but it's it's mm -hmm. quite similar to any other place. Even if the if the private sector is paying for your health, uh, mm -hmm. you 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 need a code that will um, mm -hmm. that you can use if you if you want it to be sustainable. So so no one no one really pays for this. Um, and the second challenge was the fact that although lifestyle medicine is is not significant here, the, the, there are many departments in the hospital that already do all kinds of aspects of lifestyle medicine. For example, we have mm -hmm. a, a nutrition department with, with RDs and, and, and mm -hmm. we have a PT department with physiotherapists that uh, work in the space of, of movement and exercising. And, you know, I'm new and I'm coming to, uh, to a place where, uh, where everybody is looking for his own, portion, and, and his own share of the cake and, and I'm, I'm trying to, to find a little piece for myself. Um, so, so this, uh, this was the second challenge mm -hmm. and <clears throat> the way that I found, um, beneficial for me is it, one is to think about services and, and, and programs that are not exist, uh, in the hospital and, 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 and in that way to show my value and, and health coaching and, and positive psychology is one of them. Mm -hmm. So uh, although, mm -hmm. although my role is, is um, to provide comprehensive lifestyle medicine programs, um, I, I started with focusing on, on the specific aspects that are missing in the hospital, uh, mm -hmm. such as health coaching. So now, mm -hmm. for example, my uh, interventions in my center also include nutrition and also include exercising. Mm -hmm. The yeah. focus on health coachings to to get as much support as I can from from the other other domains of the of, of the hospital. So uh, mm -hmm. I think this this is one um, one thing that I did, and and the other is 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 really find um, you know this, the, similar to the way that I like to I like talking to you and and I like doing stuff with you because it's just like you. Uh, so I I I I'm just I just find people in the hospital. That are like-minded. That uh, mm -hmm. that there is like you know sometimes you you, you meet something someone and you feel okay mm -hmm. this is someone I want to work with. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I just found few 
people in, in, in a good positions that felt that uh, lifestyle medicine is, is um, underused and, and, and uh, wanted to work with me. And, and, and we developed specific program within the hospital. So, so if you think about Shiba Lifestyle Medicine Center, uh, it is a hospital-based center. Yet for now, I'm, uh, we are working on very specific projects with very specific uh, departments mm -hmm. that, um, you know, that, that found our services as, as useful. So, so we, have, mm -hmm. uh, we, have an inter we have a program in the rehabilitation uh, division. We have a program in the cancer division. Uh, we have a program um, in, in the lung tra uh, transplantation service. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this is where we bring the, the, um, you know, the principles of health coaching, of positive psychology. And, and, I, and, and I, I hope that once those services will be established, we will move to other parts of the hospital. Wonderful, wonderful. So this is, I'm just reflecting as, you, as you're sharing this, Rami, that, uh, that, that all of these things together, take, taken as a whole, uh, tick all the boxes for, uh, for positive psychology. There's the, the, the positive affect that's experienced that you mentioned, you, the, 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 the good feeling that you get from working with people whom you, uh, whom you like working with. There's the idea of engagement, being, um, being really invested uh, in these activities that, that do demand a lot of you and, and, uh, and require you to, to use your skills to the fullest. There's, there's the, the relationship, of course, the connection with others. Um, the, the bigger picture, the meaning that sits behind all, all this for you, that, that, that seems to have... Um, seems to have been born in you, um, you know, many, many years ago when you had this moment of realisation about uh, about food, which then led you on this this culinary journey. Um, and of course, the elements of, of having accomplished so much and, and the background of health um, that, that beautifully brings together uh, all the elements of uh, all the elements of positive psychology. Tell, tell me, um, Tell me, uh, from a, a personal perspective, so when you're, when you're not at work, when you're not thinking about patients, uh, when you're not thinking about any sort of programming, what are some specific things that you love to do that you know give you a boost? Um, things, that, things that support <laughs> your, own, your own health and well-being. So I think, I think um, you know, um, in addition to spending time with my family, which I think... Um, it was very clear that uh, it makes uh, that it it brings joy to my life. Uh -huh. um, uh, I I really love to be in the nature. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, if um, during the weekend we 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 try to you know to take the car and and to go out of the city to uh, mm -hmm. to a place when we can you know see a little bit of of not 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 just green. We 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 love to go to the desert as well, but um, mm -hmm. just open space. And mm -hmm. and you know uh, relaxful environment. Um, so um, so this is um, this really boots me up. Um, mm -hmm. And spending time with friends, um, uh -huh. really spending time with friends is, is something I really like to do. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Do, do you have a, do you have a a, a favorite uh, place that you visit um, outside of Tel Aviv, whether it's whether it's green or or desert? um uh, yeah actually there is there is um a very very uh, remote um it was it, it's kind of a, a camping ground slash uh very basic uh hostel um like two hours more than two hours south of tel aviv um mm -hmm. in the desert mm -hmm. uh, uh this is the, i think this is the favorite for, for for me and for my family uh -huh. We uh, uh -huh. we spend our uh, um couple of time. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, Rani, um, you've sh you've shared a little bit about your um your older uh, child's uh, passion for <laughs> passion for cooking. Um, I I imagine your uh, your younger child might follow suit uh, soon. Um, uh, cooking and, and culinary delights seem to uh, seem to run in the family. Um, we should uh, we should try and get a picture of that. Um, I assume you took a picture of that uh, that that uh, finished uh, muffin as well. 
we should try. <laughs> we should we should try and get a picture of that to uh, to add in, add in here. Um, to, tell me about some of the other things as a as a father. Um, what are some of the other positive psychology um, perspectives that are really important to you to introduce to your children as they're uh, as they're growing up? You know this. Uh, this is interesting. Um, one thing that that comes to me when when I when I hear your question is is I I, I actually I don't I don't know if it's good or bad, but I'm I'm incorporating positive uh, positive psychology uh, skills into my uh, daily conversation with my kids. Uh, for example, you know we uh, we usually uh, I, I'm you know I'm I'm working very hard, uh, but. Um, I think that almost every day we have a family meal for dinner. I mean, we, we mm -hmm. all sit together by the table and, and eat, mm -hmm. eat dinner, uh, the, um, the four of us. Mm -hmm. And, and um, there is the time when I ask my kids, I mean, how was in the daycare? Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, you know, instead of asking them how was in, how, how was in daycare, I'm asking them about what's, what's the good things they remember from, from, uh, from today. Mm -hmm. And you know, just the small, tiny, tiny yeah, yeah. tools yeah. that that yeah. brings that brings uh, positivity to the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cueing, cueing them to reflect on a, a positive experience, and perhaps also cueing uh, a sense of gratitude, a sense of mm -hmm. thankfulness for uh, mm -hmm. for having experienced that. Yeah, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Let's, um, Rani, let's um, let's fast forward, say five mm -hmm. years. Five years from now, uh, wow. imagine, <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine five years from now. Um, what, um, what, what's, what's something that you would uh, hope for yourself and for your children in in this whole domain, um, and 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 uh, and your wife, of course, uh, for you as a family and for yourself as a professional. What, what would you, uh, what, what would you hope for um, for yourself? So for, for myself and my family, I, I hope to uh, spend more time uh, to, to, to continue spending, uh, to continue finding st time to spend together. Mm -hmm. um, although, you know, as, as, as much as your kid grow, I assume they need you less and, and, uh, and, yeah. <laughs> and <fun. laughs> uh, so I, I hope they will need me less. Okay. <laughs> but I, 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 <laughs> I also hope that uh, you know that we'll continue traveling together and and you know and and spend time together uh, during the afternoons and during the weekends and even even more than that. And uh, professionally, um, I, I hope that um, so. 2022 was was a very important year for the uh, for the chef coaching. Mm -hmm. It was a very important year because uh, after work of five to six years, um, organizations started to be uh, started to be interested in adopting the, the the chef coaching program and the culinary coaching principles. And mm -hmm. actually, in 2022, we we worked with um, two organizations to to. Um, and we help them to to implement some kind of a of a chef coaching training within within their hospital within their uh, it's not, uh, the hospital medical school, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I think this is this is a significant step when 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 you move from uh, from individuals that are interested in what you're doing to organizations that are interested in mm -hmm. in in um, in your work, and, and I, I truly hope that that um, this will uh, be uh, that that this um, direction will continue to grow and 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 that will have um, a larger impact uh, both in the US and and outside of the US I, um, we, we are working within the US and one outside of the US mm, wonderful. and wonderful. Uh, from from the research perspective, um, we 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 are just uh, we are just um, analyzing um, the data from a, a major research grant that that we uh, were that I was awarded uh, four years ago, and I hope that this this will uh, and and the results are uh, it seems like the results are very very positive. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. about the impact of the of of the culinary coaching program and i hope that this will bring more more major grants and that we'll be able to show the uh, the efficacy of of uh, home cooking and and uh, health coaching on on people well-being and health wonderful 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 so that's in the that's in the pipeline Rani, if um uh, i would love you to call to mind uh, perhaps a perhaps a, a patient archetype uh, that that i'm sure you're very familiar with someone who uh, perhaps is um, languishing a little struggling a little bit in life not not experiencing much joy you know someone perhaps who's been uh, you know maybe you've seen in the, in the chef coaching uh, program if if you were to um if you were to come across someone like that what what's your what's your advice for a best first step so oh the best first step is way. the best first step is meet your patient where they are uh, -huh. uh you know um I'm 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 a physician uh, in my background, and and uh, you know I I have long list of 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 um, goals uh, they need to follow. You know uh -huh. uh, they they need to eat more more uh, more vegetables. They eat mm -hmm. uh, they need to eat less meat, and 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 so on and so on and so on. And surprisingly, uh, it, you know people have their own perspective on food and 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 they're not necessarily um want to follow all the instructions they're not necessarily able uh they, they don't necessarily have the confidence to follow all the um all the instructions and 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 really meet patients where they are i, I think it's um it's very important and and to build their confidence and and, and to and to build their their joy from food Mm -hmm. And and from there the sky's the limit, you know. Um, yeah, and no, I, I just uh, you, uh, you you asked me about patients and lots of you know lots of patients started to to, uh -huh. to <laughs> started, started to come to me, and 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 you know one of them is is a patient that that was part of of the study that we uh, we, we are just analyzing now, and. Believe it or not, his goal his goals were focused on cooking meat. This is what he wanted to do, you know. Uh -huh. um, he, before joining the program, he used to eat meat outside and to eat lots of uh, uh, burgers in in restaurants. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what he wanted to do is to be able to cook to cook burgers for uh, himself. Mm -hmm. And okay, so this is what we did. And, and then after three or four or five sessions, um, you know, things started to unfold and, and, and uh, I, I started to know him a little bit better. And I understood that this is, this is what, this, this, is, this is the only food that he has enough confidence to cook. Uh -huh. and, 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 and when he was succeed in, in making food that he likes, he said, "Hey, you know, um, maybe maybe I can try to cook vegetables as well uh, because you know food that I cook is delicious." Mm -hmm. um, and and you know we 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 finished the 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 program. It's all it's only twelve sessions. It's not a it's mm -hmm. not it's not a, it's mm -hmm. not a short program. It's uh, but only twelve sessions took uh, him to move from from um, from goals to to cook burgers to uh, to. To cook healthy and and uh, food uh, with whole grains and vegetables, um, you know, just just because his his confidence improved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So his so, issue his issue was not a, not not an issue of uh, of uh, of taste or appetite. It was an issue of confidence. I think so. Yeah. 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 What a, I think what a so. lovely uh, what a lovely example. What a lovely and, example. And and maybe another example that comes to me that that really. To, to joy and positive ecology is is a patient that that we had like back in like i think 2014 um i i remember him because because uh we published his case as a case study but but one 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 specific perspective on his journey was that um it um it was a physician a psychiatry at boston that I was just diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. 
And, um, you know, he knew that he needs to move more. He knew that he needs to eat healthier. He knew all this, you know, all, all, the, all the literature. Uh, and, he, and he came to us. And, and the first thing that he, he shared with me is that, you know, I know that, that, that I, I, I need all these kind of things, but I, I also think that, that cooking will bring me joy and, and that, uh, that, that this, this will be something that, that I will want to do, not just I need to do. And, and, and you know, this was his gateway to lifestyle medicine. Uh, you know, this, this, this was the, the, the door that, op that, that he opened when, uh, when he knew that he needs to improve his habits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a, a wonderful example. And, uh, and indeed, um, following your own example, uh, Rani, a, a physician who, uh, who, who discovered, uh, discovered cooking, uh, who, uh, who realized that uh, cooking uh, brought joy not only to you, but could bring joy to others. Um, and now, 10 or more years down the track, you're living in a world uh, in which you see um, cooking bring joy to you, um, to your children, to your family, uh, to your patients, uh, and an increasing, uh, increasing number of people uh, who were exposed to, uh, to these ideas. Wonderful, no, I, uh, wonderful example. Yeah, I agree. I mean, this also related to myself. I mean, we, we didn't go such far, but I, I quit medical school because, because it didn't bring enough joy to me. And, mm -hmm. and, I, uh, and I went on cook, um, cooking school, and, and which brought lots of joy to me. And, 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 um, and, in, this and, and in that stage, I understood that I can bring th this joy back to, to the medical field. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I applied back to medical school, <laughs> and, and, I, and I completed my, uh, my training. And, and, you know, and here I am. And, mm -hmm. I think I think what what my my my, my take home message from this story is that if, if you if you find the the you know the area that brings you joy, I mean you can bring it to whatever you need to do or want to do, and and it yeah. it really changed the perspective of 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 what you do. Yeah, yeah, wonderful, Rani. Um, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Simon. This has been, this has been a <laughs> delightful conversation. Um, I'm I'm. Uh, uh, on on the point of uh, ending this call and then booking a flight to Tel Aviv, so I can uh, <laughs> so, so I, come and taste you, come and come and the taste muffins, some of the, the muffins. Uh, the muffins. At 6 <laughs> <laughs> as soon as as soon as it gets light, <laughs> um, Rani, uh, Rani, thank you again. Um, it's been an absolute delight and uh, and pleasure as always. And uh, Look forward to uh, look forward to your continued uh, influence in the Global Positive Health Institute as well. Yeah, thank you for this talk, Simon. It was great. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. Um, friends, uh, podcast watchers, and podcast listeners, uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, there'll be many more uh, interviews of this sort, many more episodes like this, uh, where we uh, where we interview people uh, who. Uh, members of the GPHI Advisory Council uh, sharing some of their own uh, their own wisdom, their own ideas uh, about positive psychology and uh, and lifestyle medicine and the intersection of those two things. Um, so uh, so do uh, do subscribe and uh, and we'll make sure that uh, we'll make sure that those podcast episodes uh, arrive for you.